these achievements will be held in Manchester on the 17th of October with a celebration in London the following day. Well, Sky's Ender Brady is live at Heathrow Airport for us. Uh, Ender, we'll Okay, so this is all natural hair. Mm. She's grown out of her relaxer, so her hair is really, really grown. And um, we're trying to create a foundation for her to occasionally wear a hair unit, a wig unit. So how do I work with natural hair that's this long and all tangled? So that's why I really want you to see what I'm doing. So first, this is just water. And so I spray the water in. Now this is just to avoid her getting all hurt. Because when you try to manipulate natural hair, it can really, really hurt the scalp. Because it's so dry and you end up just pulling it from the follicles. So first thing you have to do is make sure the hair is damp. And that's why I put water in it. So when the hair is damp, it's easy to stretch out. See that? Stretch it out. And when it can stretch out, that's when you can section it. Because if it's all locked together, you cannot section this hair. So I like to stretch out. If you find it still dry, just put some more water. Then of course help yourself as well to release them because the natural thing with our afro hair is it you know coils around itself and so once you've created the section you want to create you make sure nothing is blocking your way so that's why i've used the clip to hold away what i'm not working with so that goes there See that? And I want to be sure that I know exactly where my section goes. And your knowledge of this comes from you understanding how to work with cornrows. And usually the section down there should be a lot smaller so that it gives room for all the hair coming from the front. And now I can easily go through very easily. Making sure I get the exact section I want. Remember the main trick here, the hair is damp. And so it stretches out very easily. So I've got that, I've got the section I want. And sectioning natural hair is one of the biggest job you do when you're trying to create anything with it. So once I've got my section, I put more water and see what I'm doing, I'm manipulating it, stretching it out even more. That's all we need, stretching. Once I've done that, the product I made, African Queen, hair butter, then I put something. Now this also helps to soften it some more. See that? I can feel this hair in individual strands now is no longer clumped together then now now i can comb and see the trick make sure you comb in from the tips from the tips so for this hair this is the part that was a relaxed hair if we felt like it we could just nip that off but that's not what we're aiming for today take your time and just take it from the tips from the tip so the hair has released itself they're not locked together anymore and that's how you work with it
because it has damp, you can section it easily. And if you find it still tangled, take your fingers and detangle it. And because it's damp, it allows you to do that very easily. And that's one of the best things for the natural hair. Lots of moisture. And you start the moisture with water. That's my advice. Water provides moisture a lot quicker than products or oil. So after dampening with water, then your moisturizer comes in. Now once there's water, the moisturizer works better with it. And so it blends in really easily. Then you can come back. Remember, always at the tip. Always start from the tip. All you're doing is releasing whatever tangles is at, at the tip. Taking away the tangles. Align the hair to remain in strands that allow you to work with it. Because without taking away the tangles and the knotted tips, you cannot braid this hair. That's what you have to understand. So doing all this work is absolutely necessary for natural hair. And this is why people go and damage their hair by relaxing it. Because no one wants to go through this work. But once you understand what you're doing, you can have a healthy head of hair on your head. And play with it. Do different things with it. Braid it. Create foundations like this to wear your wig. Style it. Weave it. Do whatever you like. That's the beauty of having natural hair. The fact that the hair is on your head is still there. You could have times you just release the hair and let it show come through it okay so we finish combing then you're ready to braid very easily you can get your hair in sections ready for your cornrows what you really need to do is make sure your fingers flow through the hair each time you interweave don't allow it to knot itself in your hands see that so you keep stretching and releasing stretch and release Whenever you find it's trying to knot itself, stop and take your finger through it. Take your finger through it. Let it be free. If it's free, your cornrow is flowing. Okay, so what I've been doing, I've been inserting the strands of hair, the excess hair, back into my cornrow. So you see that? And that's how I achieved all those. Now, what you by doing that, you're trying to take away excess hair from all over the place. You're putting it back into the cornrow.
So I've got to the end of the strand and there were some of the hair in my hand which had again knotted itself. So what I've done now is to stop and comb them out. So it becomes easier for me to finish that strand. So it's free again and now I can finish my strand. And you notice how I stretch it before I interweave. So that the hair can allow me to work with it. There you go. So one more strand and I'm done.